it's important to understand how the auditor does their work so that the team is better prepared. So the, the workflow is like this. We would first do the manual phase of the audit. And um, the manual phase would, uh, uh, would show the most uh, on the surface kind of mistakes and errors and flaws. Uh, so we'll get back with the feedback. We'll structure the issues by the severity type. And then we'll give the team uh, enough time, basically up to them, uh, to, uh, to like fix the, uh, the issues that we have found. And uh, to, my, to my memory, like, there is almost no um, smart contract projects where we, we would not actually get back with some kind of feedback that the, the team would have to go back and fix things. Unless, of course, this is a really small like, five lines ERC-20 contract. Uh, after the, uh, the, the review has happened and the team has fixed things, uh, we would go into writing our own test suite. Uh, so we basically like entirely neglect and disregard the tests that the team has written because we have to write the tests from scratch and achieve the same industry standard of 95% plus test coverage. Like this is super important to do that. Um, yeah, and of course, even that is not like a remedy. There are other processes in place that like incur the economical analysis, but usually like we ingrain that into the uh, the test suite. Like we we test the economical cases, and after that we we design the um, final version of the audit and publish it on our website. Of course, uh, if you don't want us to publish it, we are okay doing that. 